so you think you want to be a petroleum engineer. In Petty 1010, uh, we will review the different types of petroleum engineers. Uh, let's briefly review those right now. I like to break petroleum engineering down into four major groups, even though there are quite a few subgroups to each major group. Uh, first, there is the reservoir engineer. Some people refer to reservoir engineers as asset managers. They work to optimize production of oil and gas by proper well placement, paying attention to production rates, and enhance oil recovery techniques. Then there is the drilling engineer. Uh, the drilling engineer is responsible for poking the hole in the ground. And it sounds relatively simple. When you think about it, though, we could be in the deep waters of the Gulf of Mexico, where the waters are 10,000 feet deep. We could be drilling into formations with pressures of over 15,000 pounds per square inch and temperatures of greater than 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The drilling engineer is responsible to, for managing the technical aspects of drilling exploratory, production, and injection wells. There is also the production engineer. The production engineer, in, which includes subsurface engineers, manage the interface between the reservoir and the well, including perforations, sand control, downhole flow control, and downhole monitoring equipment. They evaluate artificial lift methods and also select surface equipment that separates the produced fluids, oil, natural gas, and water. And last but not least, there's the well log analyst. Some people refer to these guys or girls as petrophysicists. They are responsible for evaluating the well to determine the ability of the borehole to produce petroleum. And as I said, in Petty 1010, we will explore what each of these engineers uh, does in a little bit greater detail.